Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to take that throttle pedal off there so that I can uh Hold that plug, that drains that cavity out. And then. I'm, whip. Oh, it never fails in the bucket. I get the steering column off there. I'm pretty sure there's a pin I have to pull out of there to get the column off. So that's what I'm doing here now. Let me get that bolt out of the bucket and get that cover off. Alright, well, good thing I pulled that off there. I drained the plug. I pulled that plug. And that's supposed to drain that cavity, but there's a whole lot of gray crap and water and stuff in there, so it's a good thing I changed that. Uh, yeah, I need to pull this pin out of here and take that bolt and pull that pin out and get the steering column off of it. Uh, I think if you have the John Deere power steering, which would be the same on like an 8 or a 1020 with uh, closed center hydraulics, I think all that's the same. All I need would be this collar, but then I call them and then I'd have to change the pump and change the hydraulics all over to closed center hydraulics. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'm much happier with the open centered system. It's like the Olivers. I have less problems with them than I do the John Deere's. So. Anyhow, that's I've got that drained. There was oil in there. Uh, I think you're supposed to service that, but I've, I've probably put a couple hundred hours on it and I've never serviced it. I don't have an owner's manual, but it's got this gray crap in it, so good thing we drained that. And, uh, alright, I'll bring you back. Okay, there's what it is. There was a bunch more gray water crap in there. I pulled that pin out of there. And, uh, yeah, the steering column come right off. It's sitting there upside down. Uh, that's just a ball screw. Runs that piece up and down. Uh, there's a heavy heavy thrust bearing in that end of it. The ball screw runs that piece in and out which pushes on that shaft. It, it's hard to steer unless you're moving. So anyhow, I'm glad I got that tore apart. I'm gonna clean some of that gray brain matter out of there. I'm sure it's just water, but uh, this tractor did spend a lot of time sitting outside. It was It was one of them it's just a tractor things and the people had had it before it was on a horse farm and they used it for brush hogging and it's set outside so uh, yeah I don't know how many more pieces here we'll make but uh, if I get any more I'll bring it back okay uh, I got a piece of 3 8 inch plate in there and I don't think I'm going to use that. It's just like a quarter of an inch too long. I got my steering valve in there. And uh, I think I'm going to see if I can get a longer column. Because I want that to be up there. This column. This column was three or four inches above the dash. So it needs to 
needs to come up to about here and then the steering wheel obviously is you know, up in here so but that's basically what I'm going to do I'm going to run my hydraulic lines inside the dash uh, the pressure line I think I'm going to put the flow control under the running boards feed the oil pressure up through into there the return line will have to go back into the suction of the pump and uh, the two steering lines will go out the other side and we'll have to take a drag link off underneath there and uh, put the cylinder in there so. alright